back to the channel everybody this is motorhome in fun and as you can see we're out and about early today and that today is a travel day and we're off on our summer tour so we've got um, a 15 night um, trip booked up we're going off to Dunfries and Galloway area of Scotland uh, but tonight is a travel day and um, we just got one night in the Lake District we're staying at Troutbeck Head looking forward to that one um, we did stay there on our previous trip to Scotland and that so looking forward to this trip guys so um, stick with us um, we're going to try and put out regular vlogs not too sure when and where um, all depends on signal and everything and um, obviously what there is to do so we'll see you on the road guys and we'll probably do the usual today just a little short run into the site and um, weather permitting we'll just have a wander around the site and do a little walk and that so we'll catch you soon at the other end so bye for now welcome back everybody we're on the final approach now to guys
Right, we've arrived at Troutbeck. This guy's happy now, and um, we're on pitch number 74. So we're going to get ourselves set up, guys, and then we'll show you around. So we'll see you shortly again. Bye for now. Right, welcome back, everybody. Right, we're all set up now. That was, that was a rapid five minutes, I think. So um, we're not getting too much out today because it's just a one night stop. Um, we're not gonna put the canopy out or anything. So we basically just connected everything up, um, electric hook up, and we put the TV coax cable in. Uh, so I understand the signal's not great. So um, yeah, we got both hooked up in there, guys. And as I say, the TV point is on the pillar as well. So, oh, we just got the waste master just to put on. And that, so yeah, we're gonna go back to reception, tell them what pitch we're on, and then just have a bit of lunch and settle in for the day. So, um, yeah, all good. A little bit of Glastonbury on telly tonight. Um, as you can see, look, we've got the new addition, the motor homing fun flag waving, and that. So, yeah. So, guys, we'll take you on the little walk around the site soon and show you around. So, um, see you shortly. Bye for now. Right, we'll just give you a brief look inside the motor home, guys. And say so, this is my little setup. We've got the U-shaped lounge, which makes up into two singles or a large double. And that's so uh, very nice in the evenings, relaxing. We've got a drop-down TV that comes down the cabinet. Um, wardrobe in there. Uh, we've got a heater, electric heater, gas heater there. Say so we got um, cooking over this side. We've got the cooker there, fridge there, guys. Microwave. Say so we've got all the top cupboards, top cupboards there. Top cupboards over the cab. I generally just keep all my bedding in, and we've got some spare food in there for the two weeks. And that. So uh, there's my little travel companion, Sky. And. Um, yeah, and this is just a nice size bench toilet and basin and the shower room, all nicely compact and that, all perfectly usable. Um, I don't use facilities on site now. So yeah, this is my little motorhome, six and a half meters. It's a Swift Sundance 580 PR. Um, had it nearly four years now and it's still only just getting worked in now 25,000 miles and that so uh, yeah we love it so yeah we'll take you on that this site tour soon then bye for now right welcome back everybody we thought we'd start the site tour back at the gateway as we come in so we're gonna just follow the road down here have a quick look at these lovely horses on the left hand side as we go by hello mate Right, so you head through the gateways over the cattle grid there. Oops, Sky wants to go on the bank. And um, that road takes you all the way down to the car park and the reception.
so once you get to the bottom of the road there's a little mini roundabout and um, we take a left there and that takes us into where you wait for new arrivals and the reception is um, hopefully this evening this is where the fish and chip van will be so we're looking forward to sampling those no cooking tonight on our first night so we pull up here and um, as I say go into the reception on the left hand side right so there's barriers and we're gonna take a left up the top here and this is up to the service pitches and the dog walk area and since I last come they got some lovely cabins which you can rent So as I say, service pitches here, left and right. As I say, the new cabins are a new thing from when we last come three years ago. Um, I don't think we can exactly call them log cabins because they look um, like the plastic constructed and that but um the sky's taking me that way so we'll, we'll just have a quick wander um, that one's called a pod pod four chaffinch and these are slightly bigger ones There's another one, the linnet. So lovely sight this is, all in the open countryside. Um, hopefully the plan is to get the drone up at some point, either tonight or tomorrow morning. Excuse the lawnmower. chemical waste point there and everything um, bins recycle everything there um, I can't see any taps but why would you need them when you got service pitches too sure how many service species there are up here but um, I'm guessing probably at least 30 I would say because you've got them on both sides and it's a nice little walk up the road and right at the top here where the the new lawnmower man is the dog walk. So we'll just briefly show you that and then um, we'll come back and do that with Sky later. Alright, I'm just going to briefly show you the dog walking. Dog walk this way, don't forget to bring your ball. And same old story, we got no ball. But um, this is a show you guys, and that's how um, 
will come out once we've done this little tour review um, it's clouding over at the moment so um, probably gonna have to get some rain at some point So this is the dog walk, um, you get the gist of it, it'll go on for miles and miles, you can go out the top gate, you can go left and right, you can just take all the forest tracks, so um, yeah. So we're going to probably just wait here now, we're going to um, head back down. And then let's get some of this site tour done. We'll come back sky later. We want to show you more. I don't think I'm going to be able to show you inside the toilet blocks or anything. Um, let's see only disadvantage of having sky but um, we can walk around the rest of the site and um, just give you a good indication what's here right so we'll catch you again when we're on the main site Right, so we're just coming off the main area where the service pitches are and directly in front of us you've got one of the facilities blocks here um, we'll see what's in the front um, you've got the reception opposite there um, this is the dishwash area. So you've got four sinks there. All nice and new prestige. And going back down to the side. This is, oh, can't really see in there, one of the ladies, it's a laundry, baby and toddler washroom, etc. Got another recycle area for your bins, chemical waste. indoor one there if it's raining outside you got the wastewater drinking water right so it's basically just the ladies gents and the laundry in there right we're gonna go back on ourselves just a brief look at some of the pitches there guys just across the road from here you got just a small kiddies playroom playground that's a playground there and inside you got the information room
And as you can see here, we've got a games room with a small pool table, snooker table, and table football. Right, so going, going back round, we'll just take this little road round to the right. So service pitches are at the top there. Um, on the left here, you got to wash your dogs and bikes here. So hose your dogs down. And we've got a lovely little stream there. This guy looks eager to go in. Come on, Sky, go go. Right, and then we've got some more pitches down the bottom. We're going to let Sky in the water, I think. Wait, wait, darling. Come here. Take your lead off. Come here. Take your lead off. Go on, then. Go, go. There you go. Shall I have a little paddle? Um, she's waiting for me to throw a ball, but we haven't got a ball, Sky. No ball. Go, go. Come play. In the water. Go, go. Right, lovely little stream, cool off, dip your feet, have a, let the dog have a little paddle. Sorry darling, we haven't got a ball. Good girl. Come on then, back this way, in the water. Come on then, this way. Right, we'll head back around the site. Right, we're back on the pitch tour now. These are just standard awning pitches, white pegs. Got a noisy dog there. Right, pitches just keep going down there as well. There's probably about eight or nine down there. We'll just go back this way and we're on upper back side. And you got some more Ice water, drinking water, recycle bins. There's no chemical waste point there. Howdy, mate. Right, we'll see if we can show you the other facilities block. If we take a right here. Or stick to the road. Some people don't like you going on the grass near their pitches. So we're down there guys, number 74.
Right. Right, so this is number two facilities block. You got a, what they call the drying room in here. I'm not sure we can get in there. It looks like it's coded. That's coded. So we've probably got the code for that on the little paperwork they give us. More bins. Right, we've got a dishwasher area there, guys. Sorry about that, just putting something in the bin, but dishwasher area. That's pretty similar to the last one we're showing you. Four sinks. And that, so that's nice. And round the corner. You got the main doors in. You got the baby and toddler washroom there. Disabled facility there. Ladies in there, guys. Gents. Family washroom. Right, I can't show you inside, guys, because we've got the dog. And it won't be very hygienic. Right. I don't think there's nothing around the corner. Just got the notice board there. Oh, we've got the chemical waste. Right, if you take a right back up there, that takes you back up to the games room and the first facilities block we've shown you. So we'll just took a left from here. Just starting to rain a little bit now. And we got the motorhome service point in front of us. That is opposite pitch number 84. Hello. So you got your wastewater there. Drive over grid. Also the manholes, I do believe I stopped on pitch number 84 the last time I was here. And we just, just head back up this way to the left and that is the way out of the site to where the barriers are. So you've got another chemical waste point there as well. Usual things, wastewater, drinking water, bins, your fire station. And this is the road back out to the site. So these are all white pegs again. There's not too many blue pegs, non-awning ones. As you've seen, there's a good amount of service pitches. So when you get to the barrier here, I'm in around about. Howdy mate. You take a left to go out of the site. 
Right, and we're just starting to rain a bit more now, guys. So um, I think we're going to head back. Hopefully, we'll be back in this car park after five for the fish and chips. So thanks again, guys, for watching this little review. Hope it's not been too long. Um, as I say, this is a central section of the pitches all white pegs mainly um, all pretty level as well so um, no complaints there um, I must admit I haven't used any leveling blocks this time round which is good so we'll see you all maybe later maybe not and that we're going to stick this little lot all together and um, if it dries up shortly, we're going to take the sky up to the dog walk and um, probably take the drone with us as well and um, see if we can get a little bit of flying over the side. So, thanks for watching, guys. If this is all of day one, I appreciate it. And we'll see you on the road tomorrow to Scotland where we're going to the Caravan and Motorhome Club site at Galliston. So um, it's about two and a half hours away from here, 120 miles, so we shall probably set off about 10 o'clock in the morning. So bye for now.